kama kama naelewana kwe nasukuma slide unaeleweka so uh, in bullish setup ambayo ina involve stop hunting choke arati o unaona mpaka hapo stop hunting change of character return to order block ambazo pia tunaweza tukazisema ni supply and demand so kilichotokea price price ilichofanya price imetoka huku juu sawa then ikawa imeenda kutengeneza a new high sawa then what happened price ilikuja ika break this structure this high this low this low sawa sasa here is to go stop hunting tutasubiria kuona kama price itakuja kuvunja this this high kutengeneza ile chok so price baada ya kuvunja everybody was thinking in stop hunting sawa so, sasa hiki kitu kukiangalia ndo kwenye ile analysis tuliyofanya sawa so, tulikuwa tumefika kwenye demand nikamwambia lazima usubirie kuona kwamba kuna chok so chok ina vitu viwili kuna sms kuna sh tutaenda kuisoma hiyo setup nyingine ya pili kwa sio kila sehemu ukiona kwamba price ilikuja chini hivi ikatengeneza low ikatengeneza high alafu kikaji kavunja utasema stop hunting hapana utasubiri confirm kitu hiki hapa kwamba price ije above ivunje this high ili kutengeneza chok lakini hicho peke yake kitatosha hii price kitu hiki kinachotokea hapa lazima kuwe kwenye supply au kwenye demand ili uconfirm na uwe strong zaidi kwamba ya tunaenda kubai tumeelewana mpaka hapo iwe kwenye demand ambayo ilikuwa unmitigated before maana yake demand ambayo ni very strong na hapa ndipo ambapo utasubiri hatua ya tatu ambayo ni RTO price kurudi kwenye nini kwenye order block ambacho ndio hiki kitu tunachokiona na hapo maana yake ukibai kibai wanakosema first target maana yake tiki profit ya kwanza ni hii sawa price take profit ya mwisho itakuwa kwenye unmitigated supply as i told you niwaelekeza namna ya kujua uh, take profit au target kwa kuangalia mitigated and unmitigated supply and demand tumeona mpaka hapo kwa hiyo hii ni setup ya msingi zaidi ambao unaweza kuitumia lakini the problem watu wengi inawafanya wapoteze hela kwa sababu wanakuwa wana trade chok every time every time wakiziona chok wanaingia every time wakiziona chok haangali kama you liquidity kwamba stop hunting je ni stop hunting kweli imetokea maeneo ambayo naamini ni stop hunting umeona mpaka hapo sawa so, kama ni kwenye currencies maana yake lazima uangalie kwamba huu ni mda gani ni mda wa stop hunting inapokuwa inatengenezwa ile low of the day au high of the day ile pia wao inatumika kama stop hunting kwenye session usiku. Kwa lazima ufahamu huko kwenye indices lazima ujue kwamba itokee maeneo ambayo kuna supply au demand. Imesha attach naanza sasa kuifafanua. Naenda kwenye lower time frame maybe ilikuwa kwenye 4 hours imesha attach demand then naenda kwenye uh, na tayari trend inaniambia ni uptrend sawa so, price imekuja ika touch kwenye demand si ndio nataka kubai. Sasa siwezi tu nikabai naenda kwenye lower time frame maybe 15 minutes au 30 minutes naenda kutafuta hivi vitu stop hunting sawa so, shock na nini rto naona process ya kuzitumia hizi so sio everywhere ukiona tu hii kitu we unaingia kwenye market na kubai au kusell okay tumeelewana hapo ndio 